see some things that we can improve on so that's that's good and I'm excited to talk about those uh, let's get into game two why don't you uh, up to you obviously but why don't you pick either dreamland or battlefield so I can see how you deal with platforms okay cool Yep, good luck. do you think I took advantage of during those two games? Wait, what do you think I did better than you so I could win those two games? Um, I, was, I think I was fishing for a grab too 
much. Okay. Uh, that's my problem. I feel like I used uh, the ledge option too much, the double jump. I feel like I was using that a bit too much. Too predictable. I feel like I was trying to up smash uh, on the edge a bit too much, too. Okay, that's interesting. Let's, uh... Let's pick, uh, just pick a simple stage, either FD or Smash Little or on Omega. And there's there's a few things I'd like to, to talk about. So the first thing I want to see, let's not get into a game right now. I want you to just hold shield. And I want you to shield grab the things I do on you, alright? All you have to do is just shield grab when I hit your shield. Right? You ready? Alright, just let your uh, shield recharge. Okay. See? Alright, let, let me show you some more. Let, let the shield recharge a little bit. Alright. Oh, sorry. That's fine. Alright, hold shield. <laughs> Sorry, the shield poked, I guess. Alright, there's the last one I wanna... Which one should I... Even the la the late in there. Okay, yeah. okay. just one last one? Yeah. Alright, so the reason I show you this is... I don't think you, you have an understanding yet of why it's safe on shield and what isn't. For example, if you hold shield... If I jab you, should be a free shield grab. Exactly. If I dash attack, okay. can you hold shield again? Oh, hold on. If I dash attack, it's a free shield grab as well, right? So what you did a lot of times is you would either shoot an arrow up close, dash attack me, or even you know go for unsafe moves. That it would just be an easy shield grab for me. You know. Yeah. So what I want you to practice first is learn how to hit shield safely. So that would be. Fair one, fair two, like this, and the hard nair. So I want you to show me those on my shield. I'm gonna try and shield grab them. So basically, if you do nothing, I can still get the grab right. So you have to either spot dodge, roll away, or even challenge with another move. Still here? Alright, watch. There's a difference between... Oh. Hmm, lost connection. Okay, are you back up? Nice. Alright, so watch. There's a difference between buffering a move like this and landing with one, like that. See, those nares you're buffering right here, I want you to land with that, hard nair like that. I don't know if you ever played like, uh, Zero Suit Samus or maybe even Ike. They do those, those hard landing nares that are somewhat safe on shield, like that. <laughs> Alright, show me some of those uh, safe aerials on my shield. Oh, safe aerials? Okay. I'm just gonna try and shield grab you. Okay, good. I wasn't holding shield there. See? That's a free punish. So. Dash attack should never be used in neutral. Just throw it out like that because you'll always get punished for it every time by a good player. Okay. Uh, a good way to use dash attack though is like that. Okay, okay, go center stage. I can hit you with a soft nair. And if you miss the tech, it's a free dash attack. And it, yeah. Let's see if we can get one here. Soft nair. Two dash attack. Yeah, you got off stage. A good drift. 
Alright, so I want you to show me a safe forward air on shield into a back roll. A safe snare on shield into a back roll. Okay. Oh. Okay, that was too late. This one was like this. I want you to start it lower, like that. Okay. Good, 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 perfect. See, there's no, there's no way I can punish that. Impossible for me. That was that was late. That's fine because Link's grab is slow. But if I play like Mario, you'll get punished. So make sure you hit with a hard hit like that, like this. Bam. Okay. Good. Perfect. Okay. All right. Let's try four there now. Okay. Okay. You you missed the shield, but I still can punish. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, good. I wasn't ready for the second hit. Okay, good. Now you're starting to get the concept, right? So what I want you to be careful of is when you do hit a shield, make sure your hits are safe. And guess what? Even jab can be safe. Watch this. If you hold shield and I'm poking you at the very end like that, it's going to be really hard for you to punish. But if I'm right in your face, let's say like this, then jab, jab gets pretty unsafe, right? So yeah. even more than timing, when you play Link, spacing is extremely important. So okay. this is something you can really work on by yourself in training mode. Just practice those short hop forward air, full hop forward air, and then short hop snares on shield. You know, you can just, oops. We should take the time away. It's fine. <laughs> All right. So that's the first thing. Is like aerial safety, right? Um, yeah. Which means once you get a good understanding of like what is safe and shield and not, you're definitely gonna throw less smash attacks in neutral. Now there's two more things I'd like to talk about. Uh, let's just jump right back into. Uh, actually, we don't need a platform right now, so let's let's just pick FD. Okay, cool. Uh, wait, so I have a quick question. Yeah, what's up? What do you think is safer, a tomahawk or those punishes like uh, bears and mares? Well, let me show you the difference. All right, I want you to hold shield. So this aerial is safe, right? But it's, it still forces me to retreat because look, if I forward air you shield and I do nothing, you can still shield grab me, right? So because it's safe doesn't mean I get a hit on you. It just means I'm in an advantage. So there's a lot there's less risk into approaching with a safe aerial like this but also you don't have a guaranteed benefit however if you hold shield and i just if i just tomahawk oh sorry my god <laughs> tomahawk then yeah i get a free grab and i can combo off you so that's free damage so what i'll say is tomahawk is extremely good because you know people are scared of of four there and there but it's also a risk because if they avoid it, you're in tons of hand lags. So definitely something you should mix up though. Uh, Alright, let's talk about ledge trapping now. So I, I would send you off stage like this and then I... No, you would send me off stage and then I saw you charge up smashes like this. See? And you get a free shield grab on me. So I don't think uh, the up smash is a good alternative here. So. Why don't you go at the ledge and I'll show you a couple options you can do. Okay. Alright, the first one you can do is a nair. Try and do a ledge jump. Alright, that's... Yeah, you spaced that well. See, nair covers... Uh, it covers jump, it covers neutral get up, get up attack. And then, if you drift back, you can even cover the roll like this. So that's pretty good. The sheiks, sheiks do a lot of those things. Then... Uh, what is your C stick set to? Is it set to attack? No, mine's smash. I feel it more comfortable because 
sometimes I accidentally tilt while I'm trying to do smash with this. Okay, well, because another good thing you can do is, if you go to ledge again, you can soft throw a bomb over there, which conditions shield. And then you can react to pretty much every other option out there. So, grab the ledge, and I'll try and show you. So here the bomb is pretty much going to either force shield or punish you, you know, and then you can get in and um, and cover the rest of the options. So throwing a soft toss like that is always a good thing because then you can roll into me, which I can cover. And uh, there's plenty of other things. But yeah, charging a smash attack at ledge like that is rarely a good idea. I'd rather see you wait, observe and counter whatever's coming versus just throwing out a move saying, oh, I hope he runs into my up smash. Sure, it might work every now and then, but you're also going to get really badly punished. So that's the thing. So yeah, just uh, just experiment. You know, I like doing there. Nimius, which is a really good lane, he, he loves to go for the, the bomb trick I showed you, which is uh, he'll go here, He'll soft toss a bomb, but then he'll stand right here, so he can force smash the roll. He can uh, cover all the jump options, and then he can grab if there's a shield, so that's pretty good. And then lastly, what I, what I want to talk about is, uh, is landing. So sometimes I would grab you, land an up air, and then let's see how you land. A lot of times you would just land with a hard down air like this, which is really easy to punish. So, there's two things you can do when it comes to landing. When it comes to the link matchup, um, up air beats pretty much every down air in the game. So it's it's really hard to challenge a link with down air. We know against maybe like uh, other characters, you can absolutely land an auto cancel down air. Do you know how to do those? So technically, you're supposed to land with down air without lag. Okay, try and do it when I throw you upwards. See, you no, fast fell that one. Okay, throw me up. Okay. okay. So what you do is you fast fall it, so you end with lag. What I want you to do is just throw me up again. Okay. You just input the down air and let yourself drift. When you land, you can shield instantly. So that's a, that's already a decent landing option, but not a very good good one with lane. Cause let me show you. Okay, that was better. Let's see. Just input the down air and let yourself drift. Okay, that's better, see? Now at least I have to react somehow, and it's just not a free punish like this landing. So, another thing that's always a good thing is throw me up. All right, you're under me. Okay, I'm just gonna back off. See, I don't wanna mess with, I don't wanna mess with, with Link and Link's landing. So, if you land a hit on me and I'm above, more often than not, I'm just gonna retreat, right? So, alright, all right, I'm in a disadvantage, I'm just gonna go to the ledge, okay, and I'm safe again. Now I can try and get up, right? But if I land right in front of you like that, it's just a free punish, see? You, you, you punish it easily. So, be very wary of, uh, of the timing of your landings, I would say. Or at least mix it up enough so that it's not always a landing like this that's literally a free punish. And uh, what else? Uh, well, let's see. Let's see how you deal with this landing. Oh, sorry, that killed. <laughs> let me uh, let me up smash you, and I'm oh, it's over already. That's better. You retreated at least, and then you don't you you can uh, mix up your movement. Oh, your own bomb is going to hit you. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, so we talked about uh, hits safe on shield, right? We talked about landing, yeah. about ledge trapping. There's one last thing I'd like to... To, to show you and then we can play games again and I'll, I'll comment on what you do
All right, the very last thing I want you to do a little better is mix up your recovery. I don't know if you noticed, but every time I got you off stage, all I had to do was run off an air or forward air, and you would be basically dead like that. So it, what you can do is forward smash me. Oh. <laughs> Both hits, if possible. Oops. Okay, so when, when I'm here, I can jump up there, I can fast fall up B, you know, you can stall the recovery, you can do a lot of things, you can forward smash me again, you can pull a bomb, wait it out, and then when you get up, you have a bomb explosion, you, you know, there's a lot of mix-ups, I'd like to see you recover like have more diversity in your recovery so that you don't always recover linearly like this, you know, oops, <laughs> my bad. So basically I want you to fight ways around this, right? Because this should be easy, really easy to counter. I, I've been doing this edge guard almost every time and it works. So the way, the way you recover isn't bad by all means. But it gets bad if you do it the same way every time, because then it gets really easy for me to counter it, right? You could even like double jump with an air dodge and then snap the ledge. You can even, you know, recover high every now and then. If you see that I'm gonna go for this one, um, yeah. If you see that I'm gonna go for this one every time, all you have to, if you're 100% sure I'm gonna go for it, all you have to do is just recover high like this, and you'll beat me. And then you can edge guard me back if you're quick enough. So, uh, let me, I'm gonna do the same thing to you now. I'll forward smash you and I want you to, I'm gonna go for the same neutral layer game that I've been going every time. So I want you to mix up your recovery. Oh no! <laughs> See? You knew I was going for that, so try and find a way to avoid it. Good, that was way better. See? And now I'm the one being inch guarded. So that's really good. Alright, let's do it again. But this time I mix it up. Okay, good. Pretty good. Let's do one more. No. I'll save you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right. So try, try and anticipate where I'm gonna go and react accordingly. Good. Perfect. See, you even got the kill. Well done. All right, nice. So uh, I think we're ready to, to play some more. Okay, cool. I'm going to go... My Lucina is not very good, but I'll, I'll try and go Lucina to see how you deal with a more simpler ma matchup. Hold on, wait. What's up? For some reason the volume is just gone down or something. Huh. That's weird. Hold on. Okay, started? Yeah, I'm still here. Hello? Yep. All set? Okay, ready? Alright, cool. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, see here? I'm doing nothing. I'm just jumping and you're already cornering yourself. That was good, Boomerang, though. Make me lose stage, stage control. Ooh, watch for those arrows. Good recovery, see? No. Oh. Don't forget about what I said about the up smash. That's no good. Nice. Nice. Okay, 
Okay, good, good. Watch, that's not safe on shield at all. Oh. <laughs> okay, there, you landed a down tilt, right? You shouldn't have, okay, so here you down tilted and then you rolled in. Once you do get the down tilt, you can either get up the forward air, try and read an air dodge and land with an air. But here, the, the roll after the down tilt was unnecessary. Alright. Okay, good. That was good shield conditioning. I wanted to see if you're gonna we're gonna react to the fact that I'm just holding shield. Really good. Nice, good down air. Watch those up smashes when it's guarding. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Try not to re-grab the ledge if you don't have to. Up throw? Yeah, good. Good grab, nice. You should be dead. Oh no, good, good recovery. Watch for those forward air get ups. You said it yourself. If you get too predictable with it, it's not as good. Okay, that was. I saw a lot of better things here. Better grabbing. Just uh, yeah. Make sure you you space your forward. You know how I taught you to space the forward air on shield. Yeah. You can do that from the ledge as well. So, yeah, I'll, I'll just quickly show you that and then we can keep on playing. Okay, cool. Uh, where do you want to go? What do you think is the worst and best? Worst and best what? Oh, uh, good question. I personally hate Pikachu as Link, but a lot of Link mains think the matchup is even. I think uh, Sheik is horrible. Sheik is absolutely a nightmare. Pikachu is hard, and then uh, I think Fox can be difficult at times as well. Alright, so back to the forward air. This is the difference I'd like you to make. So this is how you get up with forward air, with Link, right? You do this, and you end up here. What I want you to do is make it drift back, but when you land, you're close to the stage. Okay, hold on. So basically, instead of going full forward, okay, that's just too much drift back. Okay, that was too much forward. See, this one was like this, and I would try to go in like that, basically. That was close. That was better. Don't worry if you are seeing that happens. Okay, so basically you have to hold in, and as soon as you've held in, you drift back. Okay, close, better. Okay, you just have to hold in a little longer to make sure you land on the stage. Okay, that was just a little too much, but that was better. I want you to do your forward air and end up... That was better, way better. Basically, once you're done with the forward air, you should be standing here. Yeah, that's better. Alright, good job. So we can keep playing, no worries. Good not using forward air because you saw I jump. Good good mixing up your options. Watch those landings with the down air though. Oh, no jump? Oh 
Okay. So, uh, the other characters I play, right? Yeah. Are Roy and Cloud. What matchups do you like? Cloud is just a pocket. Everyone pockets in there. So, like, when I'm playing Link and I get a bad matchup, cheap matchup, who should I switch to? Like, uh, well, the problem is, I'm not entirely sure what Roy's matchup chart is like, but Cloud definitely struggles with Sheik. Still, I think, uh, I think Cloud does better in the Sheik matchup than Link does, so, you, you should have more, it should be easier for you to play the Sheik matchup with Cloud than it should be with Link. It's, it's possible regardless, it's just that the odds are against you. When it comes to Roy, I don't know, man. I'm, I'd like to say that he struggles in the Sheik matchup as well, just because she can gimp you so easily. But maybe it's just me. Okay. Alright, so I'll just comment on what you do now. Okay. Okay, good. You started the game with a bomb. That's nice. Okay, see, you're just throwing a lot of projectiles here. All I have to do is stand there and nothing happens to me. I can just shield it. What I'd like to see instead is... Great, that was way better. See? What you want to do is you throw a projectile, you see how the opponent reacts, and you react accordingly. Throwing a projectile forces a defensive option, right? I'm sure you've seen that I've been shielding your projectile so far. So it should be a free grab every time if you can read it. Once you start grabbing me shielding projectiles, you can start, you know, reading jumps, reading rolls, and stuff like that. So yeah, you don't need to throw seven projectiles in a row to hope that one's gonna land. What you want to really do is use the projectiles to actually land a hit on your opponent. Watch those down airs. Was that a miss input? Good shield there. Nice. Watch, watch. I wasn't ready for that landing, or I didn't cover it properly, but that's that's not how you want to land with Link. Yeah. Watch the watch the linear recovery. Oops, I see. <laughs> Okay, good, get up tag there. Okay, that wasn't bad actually. You probably were going for a, a roll read. I don't mind. Watch for those unsafe forward smashes. You want to jab instead and you know, it wasn't going to kill anyway. So if you're going for a surprise forward smash, do it at least when it can kill. That was better. A way better down there. Watch that up tonight, remember? Good, good grab.
remember? That's not safe at all. You can only use dash attack off a of confirm, ideally. Or when you're going for a hard read. Okay. But there, I don't think you had enough conditioning for me to think. Like, your dash attack would have landed and probably killed if I rolled back. But I had, I had no reason to hold roll back in this situation. And I didn't really show you a roll back. So you shouldn't be expecting a roll back right now. So I would say that this dash attack in particular was a little too crazy. And you died for it too. So, so when I do dash attack, it's me because when I press the grab attack while I'm dashing, it does a dash attack. Oh, okay. I'm needing to grab to so start box trotting more. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, hold on. I'm going to end the roll real quick because it's doing that thing again where it just lowers your volume. All right. That better? Yep. Okay. Yeah. If I occasionally just end the call and then re like recall you back, probably because the volume's um, just like lowered for some reason. All right. I understand. No worries. Okay. Okay. I'll do one more with Lucina, and then we can finish off with uh, best of three with Link again. Really helpful. I, uh, well. Yeah, no worries. My pleasure. I'm going to the local soon. I, I don't want to expect to do too well, but I just want to get the experience. It's okay. You're probably not going to do too well the first time, but there's, that's the only way you're going to learn. Just make sure you, you ask questions there. Ask people, okay, why did you beat me? And then. Uh, yeah, learn from it, you know, play friendly, make friends. It's the best way to get good at Smash. Oh, good, good forward smash there. Huh, <laughs> nice. Called my jump. But be careful though. Those things are still really unsafe. Now you know you landed the dash attack, so I'm just gonna hold a lot more shield. See, all right, let's see if he throws it again. See, and that's that's a good reaction. You threw a crazy dash attack, you made me shield, and now you threw a grab. Well done. Okay. Oh, no, I'm try to save you. <laughs> yeah, watch the dash attacks. That was good. Good shield conditioning with bomb. Now you're starting to observe me more instead of just throwing projectiles and hoping one's gonna land. I think you're playing RD way better. Nice, that's very good. Keep, keep, keep it up. Oh, <laughs> my bad. See there, I was on the platform, and I didn't mess with it. Instead of, you know, landing with an aerial, I just backed off and reset the interest. Okay, good recovery. Ooh, throughout the second swing. Very good, nice. Now you're forcing me to respect your grab. Watch those re-grabs. I know they're probably missing puts, but try not to get uh, re grabbed too often. See, here you re grab there should be a free forward smash, if I actually knew how to play Lucina. <laughs> nope, 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 I don't like that up smash at all. Hmm. 
Here I'm going to up throw you just to, to see how you land. Okay, good. You went to ledge. Well done. Good, good, good. Very good uh, landing there. You recognize that, okay, you lost neutral, so you gotta get, gotta get back to safety. Oh, nice. <laughs> good job. All right, let's just finish this off with the uh, best of three with Link then. Sorry, what'd you say? Are you going to be uploading this? Yeah, uh, I should be. If You know, my capture card is a little bit messed up. But if it doesn't mess up on me, I'll definitely upload it. So you can see your own mistakes. I'll try and edit some things to, to make it really clear what your mistakes are when I talk about them. But, uh, okay. but yeah. Okay, so you'll have to hold me. I'm at my dad right now, and I would probably normally pay at my mom's, so, uh, so, up a whole probably, I'm gonna have to wait like a week, probably, is that cool? Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Alright, cool, let's get to Whoa. Nice, good grab. Jump up, but then I accidentally get to because I'm trying to bust for it. Watch those unsafe projectiles. Good job. That was very unsafe. Good, good. Recovery is way better now. I don't get free landing free landing from you anymore. Or free punishes, I should say. Oop, watch those grabs. The wind kind of saved you there, but you were dead. No, I meant to go. Okay, Good drift back with the bomb there. See, I, I try to shield grab that four there, but it's so safe I can't. So that shows you how how safe that move is against me. <laughs> I'm not. I am. <laughs> See there? You shouldn't have pulled pull the bomb. Alright, so let me just recap here. You wear it for down throw, up smash, and then you pull a bomb. What you should do there is, I'm already in a disadvantage, so... Projectiles help you put you in an advantageous situation, right? Well, once you're already in an advantage, you don't really need a bomb. So, once I'm like above you, and I'm either about to just air dodge, attack, or double jump, you should be covering those options versus pulling a bomb. Alright, let's go. I was going for the kill, but I actually went to the bomb before. Oof! <laughs> I almost died. No, that was too close. All right, GGs. Let's do uh, let's do one more if you want. Sure, sure. That was the best of three, but uh, let's let's just do one more, one more game, and then I have to go. All right, cool. So yeah, do you think I'm ready to go? Yeah.
I, I picked uh, Battlefield there just to see how you deal with Landers again. Okay, good. I like the way you started there. You dropped off the platform and picked up the bomb instantly. That's arguably the best way you can start on Battlefield. So, good job. Huh. No, no, stop doing this to me. You have killed me. Oh my god, I saved you. <laughs> Good recovery. Well done. That's already way better. You know what? Now I can't get you for free anymore, which is already a huge advantage. Because it means I'm actually ha gonna have to make good reads if I want to land a kill off stage. Okay, see? There you back through me. Oops, I see. So here you back through me, which was good. And then you threw a boomerang upwards like that. Which. Oh, you left me again, didn't you? <laughs> Oh, you're still here? Okay. So, you back through me, and then you threw a boomerang upwards, which doesn't do really anything for you, because you should know that I'll be somewhere here, right? So what you can do is, like, back throw down air, you can do back throw in there, or, if you prefer less trapping, you, should, you can just wait here and cover options. But the boomerang up here doesn't do much for you. Or you can do obviously for Trump, but that's a different story. All right, ready when you are. Oh, good up here, there. Good mix up. Oh, watch those double jumps. You're in trouble. <laughs> I'm so dead. I'm so dead. My life is over. I already won. Uh, that was good games. All right. Well, uh, do you know what you have to work on now? Um, options. Um, my projectile use. Uh, then I need to ledge options. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll give you a quick re. I'll give you a quick uh, recap then. I'll I'll put that on YouTube so you can uh, you'll be able to see and, and work on it. Um. Gotcha. The first thing we worked on. Let me try and remember here. I, I won't go in order, but I'll just go through them. Uh, first thing I think we talked about was uh, safety. Absolutely. So make sure you throw less forward smashes, less dash attacks in neutral. They will land on for glory on bad players, but good players will just react to them and punish you really badly for them. You want to approach with safe moves, like you know you can you can. Uh, Poke shield with with uh, Zare, you can approach with Ford Air, you can approach with Harden Air. There's a lot of options that Link has to uh, to uh, to approach safely, kind of. The other thing we talked about is using projectiles to create approaches, right? If you just stand at the edge of the stage and you throw boomerangs, shoot arrows, throw bombs, it's not going to do much for you. However, if you notice a pattern in how people uh, block those projectiles, that's your opening. So let's say you throw a boomerang, you throw a bomb, and and they shield it both times. Then what you can do is hold the bomb, throw it, and land a grab, for example. That's obviously a really simple example, but that's kind of the concept of taking advantage of the fact that projectiles put people in a defensive stance. Then we talked about landing. So what you want to do is make sure you don't land with this uh, really bad end lag down air. Uh, more often than not, the best way to land is to just retreat at ledge if you feel like landing on stage is too risky. Then when it comes to ledge trapping, don't don't charge a, a, an up smash at the ledge. It's almost never going to work. It's a free forward air for Link and you know, there's all kinds of counters available. So as I showed you, you can, you can do uh, a bunch of aerials to cover options. You can do the soft toss thing like Nimius. Or you can just sit back and observe and just cover options, right? Notice patterns and cover. And uh, finally, 
Where, what is the last thing we talked about? Yeah, recovering. Make sure you don't recover too linearly. Um, although Link might have a linear recovery, he actually has a way to always mix it up well enough so you don't get gimped. There's like, it's kind of easy to edge guard Link, but if you know which options he's gonna go for, and he actually has a lot of them. If you pull a bomb, you know you can get two spin attacks, you can zare, you can air dodge, you can fast fall, there's a lot of things you can do. So make sure you don't recover the same way because people will take advantage of it. And uh, I think that's all I have to say. If you have any other questions, uh, fire away. spamming thing that I did wrong you think that would work on aggressive characters like characters that just need to get up in your face okay so you you're talking about projectiles yeah I think spamming them against aggressive characters uh, more than aggressive characters I would say aggressive play styles maybe link does best when he gets uh, attacked actually when you're when you're in defensive position the thing is, really good players are able to attack severely while avoiding projectiles. They can maneuver around it, you know, they can air dodge through, they can power shield them. So, yeah, um, projectiles most definitely help you uh, stuff rushdowns. But if you just blindly spam them, you will lose to them. So, again, learn, learn when is a bomb pull safe. You can learn when is when shooting an arrow is safe, and all kinds of stuff. So my answer will be, yes, projectiles are good if they're used safely and smartly, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Um, one more quick question before we stop doing this. Uh, how do you win the neutral? Like... How do you win the neutral? <laughs> that's like the... Uh, that's kind of like... Uh, the main question that, uh, like, this is what Smash 4 is all about, right? How do you win neutral? Well, ideally, winning neutral for Link means either landing a bomb or landing a grab, I would say. A jab is also pretty good because it usually sends people off stage. Now, how do you win it? This is basically what I told you. You have to find openings. And uh, either you recognize patterns in your opponent or you force patterns thanks to projectiles. So that's definitely something that's going to come with experience. You know, you should ask yourself, why did I get hit by this move? How can I counter it? How can I avoid it? And it's the same for your opponent. Like, what does he think you're going to do and what can you do about it? You know, this is the whole mind games and option coverage aspect of the game, which makes it so fun. Ready for the local? Yeah, uh, let, let us know how you did. Just uh, if you want, once I upload the video, you can feel free to shoot a comment saying how you did in the logo. Even if you didn't do well, do you think the lesson helped? And uh, yeah, if you want to play again in a few weeks, feel free to, to shoot me up. Okay, three, four weeks? When, whenever, you know, maybe after you're local, so we can catch up and see if you improve. Okay, cool. Gotcha. Awesome. I'll contact you after. Perfect. All right. Take care, man.